everything in converging to one point. Blue turtles here, bomb is here, left and right hand of the devil is here. There's some secrets as to why Kasano is baiting Horyang out. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but we'll have to find out. The bunny girl was the one that hired. Blue Turtle has some amazing ASMR blackmailing threatening session too. That was fantastic, but today's episode, I hope we finally get to meet together, but there's a good chance that maybe we just never see each other even though we were at the same spot. Let's begin today's reaction. That a USB drive? Like, that's it? The whole purpose of this is to see if your team got stronger? If they can defeat the devil with the right arm. Like, I was wondering why Blue Turtle is even showing up here and why does he even care about the devils of the right or left arms, but it's just literally just a practice session for their team. Hmm. What are you talking about? Trace who? Bomb? But you don't even know he was alive until just recently. Ran? Are you talking? No. This guy. This guy. This guy. There was a brother that showed up. Part of Yuri's team. We're tracing him. This dude was Yuri's team before he showed up at the season one. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. これまでの成果を確かめさせてもらう。カタロ。It should be stronger, right? I mean, I'd hope it's stronger than Novik's barrier. The hell? Ran spear again. Brother? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. These cuts are fucking like like <laughs> these randoms. Like, did we need the scene here for the three seconds of him just fucking typing on the fucking laptop? Uh, maybe this is lore accurate how the fights went. We already know what the fucking animation deal with this season two, so you know how it is. Apple's name. Who the hell is Apple? Crud. What just happened? Kasano from behind! Why the hell would you hit your bro? I mean, it doesn't really look like he was on friendly terms with Horyang. I don't, I don't know. What, what the, the fuck? I just out of fucking nowhere. We're upset that you got hit. And we're fighting on your behalf. And you backstab us. Alright. No, All part of the plan? Was it all part of the plan? He just dies? That's it? Viol? Rabbit girl? <laughs> Wonder if Viol's gonna blame Ran and Novik for this and just fucking pop off. <laughs> Maybe. 
Horiyan is just dead like that. That's it. Out of fucking nowhere, he gets backstabbed by Kasuno. He's dead? No, I don't believe it. There's no way he's just dead like that. Is this all part of the plan? Is she gaslighting intentionally? Because we saw Kasuno do it. This bunny girl didn't see shit. She's lying. You're caught in my trap is what she said last episode. <sighs> Alright, we're taking the bait. Fuck it, let's go. I mean, that rabbit girl is clearly setting up a bait for us to just fight for no reason right now. But if it means that we're going to see Veal pop off enraged, I'm down. <laughs> Rabbit girl. It's, it's a bit better than Quatro's fight, but. That's right, three bongs, man. Three bongs of Shinsu. And here's the thing, right? I could maybe give a fuck about Quatro and how impressive the bongs are if the animation justified it. But when you see this lackluster animation, if you even can call it animation. There's no emotional engagement to the show, bro. You just see random shit happen. You're like, wow. And Novik's kind of doing some world building. He's like comparing Quatro and Bomb and talking about the importance of being able to control more than one Shinsu Bong. Three at once. It should be such an amazing thing. Yet, I'm sitting here just laughing, not giving a fuck because the show clearly does not give a fuck. I shouldn't say the show. It's the studio. <laughs> わかった。落ちろ。箱玉。何？一つ同時に。オッケー、オッケー。一級選別者にあんなやつ。一級選別者で神の水を三つ以上同時に使う。Damn. I mean, those are regulars though. E rank regulars. Top 10 E rank regulars can only control three bongs at once. But Mr. Viol, I mean, he's an irregular. Fug training. I'm gonna assume he can do more than five. Hmm? Oh, 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 oh! Lighthouse barrier? We still got five. Boom! Man, <sighs> It's interesting how, like, every time they get fucked up, they're just, like, sitting there. There's, like, no sense of damage, no scratches, nothing, no injuries. They're just, well, we just got fucked by Shinsu. I don't know. I'd expect, like, blood or something to show, like, the impact of the damage, but I don't know. Man, <sighs> the bunny veal combo is pretty strong, though. No, 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 listen! Listen! It was Kasano! Oh, so I'm surprised they're literally wasting their time letting Toraski fucking bleed out. But Bunny Girls did say he stopped breathing, so I guess there's no point to do first aid if he's dead. 
And this bunny lied. This bunny lied. Nah, nah, nah. I don't trust this bitch, bro. She got something against uh, Blue Turtle's team right now. I do not trust her. Oh! Blue Turtle? The encounter! Wait! The reunion? Usagi no Mimi. Oh, he said the name. She got a bomb? What, what is your problem? What is your deal, lady? You know what we do? We literally use the fucking move that we've been spamming since season one. Place her under Shinsu paral paral paralysis, bro. Just fucking load her with Shinsu. She can't fucking move. This detonation goes away. It's that easy. What are we fucking doing right now being held hostage by this dumb rabbit? Okay. Identity identified. So they're working together. Kasano and her, they're all working together. Korean just dies for no fucking reason? I don't know what his goal is. Come with us, we will save him. If we refuse to come with us, you will lose two of your dear friends. Two. I guess Horyang is automatically counted as one. What's the other one right now? I don't know. Blue Turtle's in the room, but are you actually threatening Blue Turtle? Like, I don't think you could possibly threaten Blue Turtle. Horyang for sure, but like, Blue Turtle? I think he's clean. <laughs> Identity revealed. Yeah. <laughs> they it seemed very impressive. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that supposed to be sarcastic? They're like, wow, cool. Fuck Slayer. I don't. I, they're 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 trying to make it seem like no one cares, right? That's the intention here, right? This bitch makes me mad. Blue Turtle. <laughs> This is actually crazy how <laughs> just Shinsu. Just Shinsu, but like this dumb fucking rabbit bitch can be taken down immediately. Just paralyze her from behind. Like it's so easy. How are you just letting this happen, Beal? How the fuck I guess in the webtoon it makes more sense, but with the way that this shit's animated, I'm like, there's so many opportunities where we don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> Like, like, this is beyond. Like, she has the backings of Fug right now. So we can't do anything because she has the entire backings from Fug. Okay. I guess that makes sense. It's not just this rabbit acting because a faceless man just showed up saying... Because, like, from right now, it seems like she's a random girl that got approached by a random member from Fug to do this shit. But that doesn't tell me that she has the entire fucking back of the organization and they'll just take her fucking friends out. Right now in this room, I thought the only threat is the fucking detonation shit. It doesn't fucking make sense to me. Traitors? Apple betrayed us? We actually got baited. That's crazy. Blue Turtle actually got played by these random characters that we barely fucking know. Like, that's insane. This, like... It's hard for me to believe this, knowing what kind of character Blue Turtle is and how much little we know of these random fucking characters. They just show up and just fucking get a sneak on Blue Turtle like that. Really? Okay.
I guess we gotta go. <laughs> Son of Blue Turtle. That's pretty funny. He's like role playing. He is role playing. <laughs>。わたしがお前を殺そうとした。罠を仕掛けてお前を待って気が変わった。こんな罠にかかり手を汚すだけなら何もしない方が待って an excuse to キエサルがいい save blue turtleそして二度と私の前に姿を見せる you don't mean that もう二度スレイヤー候補さん悪の大魔王を演じるなら芝居の練習だろう the role play was pretty cringe 俺を逃がそうとしてるな yes you're my friend やっぱり Hey, at least he tried. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rant. Oh my god, this fuck this bunny up. This bitch pisses me off. End her right now, Novik. Oh, now you use that move. And I get it. I get it. He bomb can't use that on the bunny because the bunny detonation isn't the only thing. Somehow she has the entire backing of Fug, so we can't fuck around with her, I guess. But there it is. Mm -hmm. Who else can use it? Season one, right? I'll end you myself. Ooh. She liked that. That was a threat. She liked it a lot. And this is the funny thing about this season. I don't know if the studio is so bad that they're unable to fucking convey the actual emotions of terror and fear that she may have to feel in the web not in the webtoon, or this is the way that she's supposed to feel. That's the funny thing right now. It's just like I I, I don't know. I could totally assume that they fucked up here too, or this is the intention and the bunny is crazy horny for veal. I think it's the latter. <笑>ジュピオレクレイでやったのにそれを自ら踏みにじるとは私を怒らせた罰として、お前たちに構え、愚か者どもめ。ピンときた。これからはあんたが私の神よ。Oh <笑><笑> yeah, she was down bad for that, all right. She loved that treatment. 私の神よ。<laughs> the bunny roleplay is fucking unreal right now. Re writhe in pain at the bottom of a hellish flaming pit as you celebrate his birth. The birth of a new slayer, that is. <laughs> I think this is like more signs that Blue Turtle is aware like who this character is, right? We already saw the Shinsu shock technique that's in season one. That's something Bomb always used in this line here as well. I'm, I'm sure he can connect the dots right now. What's, what's going on? Golem? It's a golem! It's him. He's alive. <laughs> Eating an apple. <laughs> Again, not just the ReZero Forbidden Appa theory, but there seems to be an association with people that eats apples and bad shit happening. Like, if they're associated with an apple, they're probably sus or something bad's gonna happen. The traitor is eating an apple. Forbidden fruit confirmed theory. Again, outside of ReZero. <laughs> Damn, she type him fast with one hand. Peon! Chick burn it! What happened to chicken? The traitor's fucked up! Mr. Chicken? He's actually dead. I'm gonna assume that these motherfuckers are. 
Aren't they? Aren't, aren't, didn't they literally help with Bunny? Well, they baited Blue Turtle. I was gonna say Rachel, but it's just fuck shit, aren't they? Right, right. The Bunny Girl, right? They wanted to get rid of the threat of the E rank, the top, the top threat, the most. Like the rank one E threat, E rank threat. That's 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 bomb. Sorry, blue turtle, right? That's what Bunny Girl mentioned. They're all part of it. They all seem to be backed by fuck. Mm, maybe the threat of an E rank number one makes no sense. Like, why the fuck would you be scared of an E rank? Maybe it has to do with the actual connection between blue turtle and bomb, right? In order to get rid of someone that's closer to him to make him into a more stone cold blooded slayer. I think that's what's going on. A scout with the lighthouse. Maybe Shibisa can do it too. Okay. Oh, a hacking program? There's no way Blue Turtle really got this deceived like this. I want to believe that he's still one step ahead. He has to be one step ahead. Power of Betrayals, classic. I mean, he can run fast, but that's about it. Bruh, he's getting done so dirty. She's standing! What do you mean we need them? How the fuck is she hired by fucked? What the? How? What? Join us? You're part of the squad that fuck hired? I mean, it's not the first time Yu Sung used Rachel to further enhance his own plans to fucking make Bomb the Slayer. I guess it kind of makes sense, but hey, the, the secret's out. This bitch can fucking- uh, this, this girl can walk, now what? Thank you for wiping my face, I guess, but still, fuck you. What does fuck care about her? Bitch, you have your own legs, fuck off! Let's go, Dan. True. True. I mean... Betray you, Blue Turtle. I mean, from the beginning, <laughs> from the beginning, Blue Turtle created a team just to get his ultimate revenge on Rachel. So I don't know if that's good enough logic. Like, I don't think that applies, but I know what you're trying to say. It's looking like it. Like, she's still got old connections? How? True. True. I hate this show so much. I fucking hate Tower of God. No, I don't. I, I love it. I hate what the studio is doing to this season. And I hate Rachel. And basically, it's just like culmination of bad animation fights, her, her staff, and then Rachel scene, second half, that's making me fucking mad. Uh! <laughs>Fuck this show. This bitch deserves a fate worse than death. I just cannot just... Nothing. There's gonna be no punishment suited for her. No amount of torture, no amount of anything will be enough. This bitch needs to lose and no, we need to give her hope first. Remember, what did we learn from Castor in, in Fate Zero? Death is not... An, death is an easy way out. And simply torturing them isn't enough either. We need to give her hope. We need to give her hope and make it think like her dream is coming true and then fucking pull everything underneath from her and then just like relish in her just like hope being disappeared and like unless uh, we need something like that to happen it's just like and even that won't be enough. Oh! Hope! Hope! See, if you did nothing wrong, you, you wouldn't have to tell yourself this. 
You were literally struggling with a cognitive dissonance in your head as you realized that you're fucking trash. Every decision you made is trash, but keep coping. Who is this? Your entire existence. Fuck you, Rachel. Fuck this episode. Let's see the end panel. What do we have? I swear to God, if it's Rachel fucking stabbing. No, it's just Bam and Blue Turtle. And that's the episode end. Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> These fights are so ass. But we're not really surprised by that at this point, are we? we this is how many examples of the studio just butchering fights where everything is just moving so slow motion and it's so jarring with random fucking cuts. Again, this studio doesn't know how to fucking animate. Individual frames do look pretty. Individual fr uh, frames and special effects, they look pretty, but the moment they start moving, you can tell that they have no clue what the fuck they're doing with fights, therefore I have no hope for the workshop battle as well. Because that's supposed to be just an arc of fights. The second half shit, I guess it was a bit interesting how the rabbit girl was hired by fuck the entire time and I thought that Maybe they're doing other shit and it's not related to Rachel, but no, Apple, this other dude, they're all backed by Fug because Rachel requested. And I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? I guess it makes sense if their overall goal is to isolate Bomb more and more so that he can become like a cold, ruthless uh, Slayer candidate. And with Blue Turtle existing, that bond will kind of keep him from doing that. So it does make sense. But goddamn, this fucking bitch just showing her true face. Stabbing Dan over and over again. Piano is already dead too. What an annoying fucking episode. It's just... It's annoying because the fights are ass, and then the second half it's annoying because Rachel is ass, but Rachel being ass isn't like a bad thing per se. She's being a great villain to make us feel this way. I just... You know, it's just the fucking animation that's so fucking mid. It is what it is though. What do you expect from this studio? That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.